you. Hello, thank you very much. Uh, I want to begin by saying that, like free speech, the right to whisper is a very important part of civic engagement and of political freedom, particularly as these venues of society move into the online space. Um, the news is constantly full of stories about the government looking into our private lives. And unfortunately, the advance in technology in terms of the internet and digital media, which has given us so much in terms of uh, ability to organize across national borders, has also had a parallel movement, which is uh, an incredible advance in the technology to keep track of people. Um, the, uh, the government of the United States is, is a relatively benign government, so to speak, in terms of the surveillance thus far. But uh, if you look to some of the more uh, heavy-handed countries, it really does become quite a matter of life and death. Um, and I became really involved with this issue back in 2004 uh, in my capacity as uh, the president of a small internet service provider in New York. Um, you know, there's kind of a counter argument to privacy that you hear quite often. And the typical way it goes is, if you aren't doing anything wrong, then you don't have anything to hide. Um, I think it's a false argument because uh, privacy isn't about secrets or having something to hide. Um, there's a reason why most people have uh, shades in their houses. And there's a reason why it's uh, a heavy felony to open people's first class mail. Um, the reason behind these, these customs and, and these laws is not because we have something terrible in our mail or because we're doing something terrible in our houses. It's just part of uh, human dignity that we want to keep parts of our lives private and have control over who we let in and who we don't. Um, the organization that I started works in the intersection of a few different fields. Uh, the basis of it is technology, uh, technology pardon me, uh, and it also brings in uh, strong amounts of education and law. And uh, what we're trying to do is uh, imagine what would happen if you revisited the way the telecommunication system works and introduced uh, strong cryptography and privacy controls into it. Uh, this is a question I began to ask myself, how would this change the status quo? Um, cryptography is a very complex subject, uh, and I couldn't really give you a, a decent overview of it in the context of a five minute talk, but this little uh, a graphic gives you, you know, a basic idea that it uses math to transform messages into a, something that's unintelligible. Uh, basically, we're, we're building a system for mobile telephony and for internet uh, that will allow people to encrypt their data in such a way that the, the carrier itself cannot get uh, visibility or uh, insight into what the communications of the individuals are. Essentially, it, it puts the ownership of the data back in the hands of the individual. Uh, there are a number of really interesting use cases that became immediately apparent. Uh, journalists, uh, human rights organizations, international bodies who go to dangerous places to uh, investigate human rights violations, uh, whistleblowers. Uh, and then one interesting thing comes when you understand that privacy and cybersecurity, in a lot of ways, are the same problem but with different framing. This introduces other use cases, such as the legal, the legal profession, uh, law enforcement, uh, finance, 
medicine. Uh, this comes to my story that uh, I got something called a national security letter from the FBI. And I ended up uh, getting involved in a case where I challenged the constitutionality of the Patriot Act. Uh, it was a very long uh, experience. It lasted almost a decade. Uh, and that really was the inspiration for me, where I realized that we had to kind of re-examine the way we were doing things. And the overall approach here is that I want to try to create a business case that there's a market for privacy that has been ignored up until now, and that, uh, that I want to push the telecommunications carriers in the direction of privacy. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to me, and, and have a good evening.